Uh, Lagos residents have been charged to take ownership of projects undertaken by government in their areas as it will go a long way in tackling the issue of abandoned projects. This charge was given by the Inspired Youth Network during their citizens' engagement town hall meeting with stakeholders on addressing public requests from the 2024 budget of Lagos State. Details in this report. Community members, youth champions, as well as government representatives have gathered in this hall. How do we have a very intensive to ensure that young persons, especially young women, have access to uh, democratic uh, and public responsive service delivery. Over time, the stakeholders have monitored the implementation of budgets and are here to discuss the findings from their trackings on abandoned government projects in Oshodi Solo local government area. The idea is for the community to take actions towards the completion of the project. Create budgets for all of this. Let, bu let budget that you have created be used for the completion of this project. And we have one in Okorodu currently. The one we had in Okorodu is a vocational center. As big as Okorodu is, we only have one or two vocational centers being managed by the Lagos State Ministry of Women Affairs and Poverty Alleviation. Now, this is, a, this is another vocational center that can, that can complement the effort of the one Lagos State government is currently running. If we have a large number of people going to one vocational center, we will not have good, effective training and you know, learning, or effective learning in all, the uh, all these vocational centers. The idea was to go monitor the projects that was going on in Idowu Rufai Street in Ago Palace Way, and we found out that constructions were not really ongoing the way it should be, and this was causing some issues leading to drainage problems, and of course, all of this can also result in um, diseases and displacement of people. So we tried to bring up these issues to the to the limelight to let people know that there's a, actually um, a budget allocated for this particular construction and they need to demand for accountability so that the right things are being done. The town hall meeting also aims at educating relevant stakeholders to be involved in the budgeting process and ensure good governance. As government is advised to meet with the people halfway in this discourse. From all of our engagement so far from reception, you could see that the major challenge there is that most the majority of the persons in Lagos do not really have a, a better and deep understanding about projects and budget processes and the rest. So that's why we're doing all of this to see how we can educate the citizens to allow make them be a part of, of the of the process to actually drive a change in their society. It's good that uh, organizations like this are coming up with such uh, engagement and wanting to know why, what their resources, the resources are, meant, uh, are used for. And you know, if we do not uh, accommodate such uh, uh, um, programs like this, going forward we may not be able to achieve anything. This is more like helping government to uh, making the, uh, helping government to lessen their work and all of their burden. So, you know, I think it's something we have to also encourage and actually listen to them. And that's one of the reasons why I, I found it that I have to be here today. In all, they urge the government to look into the abandoned project and ensure their completion, as it would not cost anything more since they have been budgeted for in the first instance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.